Hi, my name is Muhammad Aydani. Today, I will present uh, about question annuity and trade and cash discount. We are from group 4, class R2, M80, 112, set B. The leader of this team is me, Muhammad Aydani. And my next member is Muhammad Shahmi. The third member of this team is Muhammad Farish. And the last member of this team is Fuzul Akram. Hi. My name is Muhammad Farish Daniel bin Zulkifli and today I will present about our assignment and my task to do is annuity. So, Puan Rani Zinta is about to retire. She has two options. The first option is to take the gratuity of 1,850,000 ringgit and invest the entire sum in an account paying 4% compounded monthly and receive 9,500 ringgit each month until the account is empty. Another option is to join a private retirement plan which she will receive 9,500 ringgit per month for 25 years. The question is, which option should Puan Ranizinta choose? Justify your answer with relevant calculation. After I have done with all of calculation, finally I will get the answer for option 1 is 2,850,000 ringgit for the option 2. I have take out all of the point and I'll do my cal calculation and I get the final answer for option 2 is 1,142,500 ringgit. So, we will see there are some difference between option 1 and option 2. So, after I have done my calculation for find the difference, finally, Puan Rani Zinta should choose method number one because it offer more money than option second question after receiving her gratuity money puan rani zinta also thinking of buying a new motorcycle for her son through an installment plan by making a down payment of 20 percent followed by 48 equal monthly payments she anticipated the motorcycle to cost RM 20,843 and the interest charge is 3.8% compounded monthly. The question is calculate the periodic main payment and total interest charge. After I have take out all of the point and, uh, and I use some formula to do this question Finally, I will get the final answer that is 1,325.60 cent ringgit. The next question is C. The question is, if she fails to make the first two payments, how much should she pay on the third payment to settle all the outstanding areas? Okay, first we need to use formula S3 equals to R open bracket open bracket 1 plus i uh, close bracket power of n minus y divided by i close bracket so we need to use all the information given into the formula then we get rm 1128 ringgit 57 cent next question is d after paying for 2.5 years puan rani zinta plans to settle the loan in full when the next payment is due the first question is calculate the total amount that needs to be paid. First, we need to find balance number of payment. To get the balance number of payment is 48 minus 30. So we get N is 18. So after that, we put the N into the formula. So the answer is RN 6551 ringgit 50 cent. For D2, we need to find the total interest paid. The formula is open bracket R multiplied by N 
close bracket minus A. The information given is R equals to 375 in N is 18, A is 6,551 ringgit 15 So after that, we need to use all the information given into the formula. So the formula is open bracket 375 times 18 close bracket minus by 6,551 ringgit 15 sen. So the answer is RM 198 ringgit 85 sen. Hi, I am Aidani. Question E. After one year of retirement, Puan Rani Zinta was thinking about starting a small food truck business selling coffee. She looked up the cost for a coffee truck online and got quotes from two different manufacturers. The manufacturer A is Mercedes and manufacturer and another manufacturer, manufacturer is BM. For this question, we will use formula D equal L times D. For Mercedes first, 95,600 times 0 0.1032 and we will get RM 9,865.92 cents. After calculate that, we will use another formula and P equal L minus D. And then we will get 95,600 minus 9,865 ringgit 0.92 cents. And press the calculator and we will get 85,734 ringgit 0.08 cents. For BM, for BM, we will get 11,073 ringgit 0.15 cents. Use another formula and P equal L times L minus D. We will get 87,354 ringgit 0.85 cents. And after that, Puan Rani Zinta should choose Marci D because Marci D offer a cheaper net price which is 8,573 ringgit 0.8 cents compared to BM which is RM 8,754 ringgit 0.85 cents. Now we will move to question F. On 1 June 2023, Puan Rani Zinta received an invoice and the list price of the coffee bean bought are as follow. Read the table below. The transportation fee was RM250. The trade discount offered by the wholesaler were 5%, 8% and 11% and the cash discount term were 7 slash 10, 3 slash 20 and N slash 30. The question is find the single discount that is equivalent to the trade discount given. We will use the formula below. E equal open bracket 1 open bracket 0 0.05 close bracket open bracket 1 minus 0 0.08 close bracket open bracket again 1 minus 0 0.11 close bracket and close bracket times e 100% we will get 0 0.22214 and please give it in percentage which is times 100 for the question G Trade discount offer. D. We will use the formula D equal L P times D. One thousand three hundred ninety six times zero point two 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 one four, and the discount is R M three hundred and nine ringgit point zero seven cents. And that's all from me. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sami. Let's continue to question H. Explain the cash discount terms 7 slash 10, 3 slash 20, and N slash 30. So the answer is if one run prof, so the sorry. So the answer is if one Rani Zinta paid with in 10 days, she will get 7% discount. Meanwhile, if she paid in 20 days, she will get only only 3% discount. And if she paid within 30 days, she will get not getting any discount. For question I, find the cash discount offered if the invoice is paid on 31st June 2023. To find the invoice, use RM350 ringgit 20 cent plus RM450 ringgit 80 cent plus RM289 ringgit and plus 
RM300, RM5. So we will get RM1396. So to find the cash discount, use the RM1396 times 0 0.05. So we will get the answer RM41.88. For the last question, question J. Find the net payment if the invoice is paid on 23 June 2023. Use the formula NP equals to LP times 1 minus D1 times 1 minus D2. The LP we already got 1,396. 1,396 1 times 1 minus 0 0.05 times 1 minus 0 0.08 times 1 minus 0.11. So we will get the answer RM. 1,335 ringgit 89 cent. Thank you. Okay, that's all from our group. Thank you.